Um, this is a tough question because what I really want to say is <laughs> don't answer them. I mean, you know, I feel like people just need to respect boundaries. It's odd. Like you couldn't imagine someone going up to someone who, you know, with their prayer and asking them, when are you going to do all five of your prayers? Like just the idea of someone doing that is just very intrusive. And um, I don't know, I, I find it uh, just... Um, yeah, intrusive. But I think it depends on the person. And I, I would say to the sister, this is your journey with hijab. It's very private. It's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You shouldn't feel pressured to uh, rush your decision because people are putting these, you know, questions before you and now you feel like you have to answer to them. No, you don't. It's your, it's yours. Own it, claim it. And you can respectfully just say, I'm, I'm just in a transition in my life and you know, it might take me more time, but, you know, you'll know when I start wearing it all the time. But, again, these are the types of questions that it really depends on the relationship you have with the one who's asking you. Um, but if you can and if you feel comfortable, I'm, I'm a big fan of being in control of your own narrative. So I am an open communicator, and if I felt like this was me, I would likely announce to my siblings, for example, or my, you know, the people in my close immediate circle, like, listen, I'm you know, going to be, you know, wearing hijab maybe here and there, and it's a very personal thing for me, and I would love your support and dua, and I would include them in that way. If you're comfortable, that could be an option. That way they they feel like they're partly with you. Um, but I do feel sometimes people, especially around hijab, if they don't wear hijab, they might feel uncomfortable because they don't know if you are going to continue to change, and they are not you know, in, on the same path as you. So they sometimes, I think, people may put their own comfort before your comfort. And that's why you have to kind of s assess the situation. What is the motive of the questioner? Are they really curious about your path? Or is it more that you're making them uncomfortable and they're just kind of putting you on the spot? Um, you know, we don't want to necessarily have uh, su'adhan or think the wor uh, worst of people, but I would just say that when questions are posed like this, it's difficult because there's so many follow-up uh, details that I think would make it easier to answer. But generally speaking, hijab is very personal, and I think we have to, as women, um, own that it is a personal decision and somehow, in the most graceful way, let our loved ones know that it's it'll take time. And I encourage you to continue on your path Inshallah, and if it takes you months, uh, alhamdulillah, if it takes you years, alhamdulillah. But if you want to, you know, really kind of have a solid plan, I would say, and I, I have advised sisters, and it's worked, set a deadline for yourself. You don't have to share that with everybody, but you could just say, I'm going to give myself two months, three months, or, you know, by this point, maybe it's a personal uh, milestone for you, a, year, a time in your life where you feel like you really want to, by that point, um, commit to the hijab. And that's your personal deadline. You don't need to broadcast that to anybody. Because as soon as you do it, and, or if it, that time comes and then you're not ready, everybody's going to come and start judging you again. So I just feel like we have to kind of be very careful with oversharing. But if it's, again, a relationship where you feel comfortable, then just let them know that you're on a journey. And just like all journeys, it takes time. So.